Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we love our furry friends, but how about ringing in the holidays with some reptiles? Let's not say we did. Anyway, our show guy, Snake Man, Blaine Eaton, is here to tell us about a big party. And it's all about celebrating the scaly animals and his number one assistant, Curtis, as well. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Okay. Yeah. So what would be a good gift as, you know, as far as, you know, we've got snake, well, how many types of snakes? We here. have we have three types of snakes okay. here today, but we have two different colors of the corn snakes. Okay. And as a first time pet, we recommend the corn snakes. And they're gentle, they only get about four and a half feet in captivity. In the wild they can get up to six feet. So this is a normal color of your corn snake or red rat snake. Mm -hmm. Curtis has an albino. There's over fifty different colors and patterns that have been produced over the years. And they have corn snakes to sell for ten dollars up to a couple thousand dollars. And you said corn snake and rat, the same thing as corn snake. Red rat, rat snake. snake is okay. the same. Somewhere mm -hmm. along the line, they called them corn snakes. Mm -hmm. Why we don't know. But the true name is red rat snake. Oh. And these are native to the United States. So what's good about having this as a first-time pet? They're gentle. You don't have to have a heat source like the tropical snakes. They do well at room temperature. A lot of times you get a dog and the kids always say, no, I'll feed it and water it and bathe it every mm. single day. Mm -hmm. This is actually a lot easier than that. It's easier to take care of. Uh, we feed them every two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, snakes, if kept healthy, can live well over 20 years. Mm -hmm. You know, dogs average about 15. So right. it is definitely a commitment. It is a commitment. Okay. Now, if you want to get a snake, obviously you need some of the... the containers that go with it. You just don't grab a fish tank with the metal thing on top and put books on there and all that. Right. There are reptile cages that are made specifically for snakes that have locking tops that slide. And uh, every pet shop sells them. Okay. Don't try and come up with something right. on no, your own. No, don't get, get the ones tap. with wire tops. Uh, they're good for turtles or maybe small lizards. Snakes are escape artists. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. This next snake <laughs> is, is a new one in our collection. Uh, from a good friend of ours called, his business is called Gopher Your Pets. He sells gopher snakes. And this is an albino San Diego gopher snake. Mm -hmm. And Curtis actually acquired a trio of them that we're going to raise up and breed. And all of these snakes are snakes you'll see at the reptile show. Okay, which is coming up this weekend. Coming up this weekend at the Lions Club in McQueenie. And 10 to 5, Saturday and Sunday. And you're going to have folks up there like yourself that right. you can, we will you can, be there you can buy, on sell, you can get advice about things if right. somebody is maybe interested in... in Our association will, uh, sets up a table. We answer questions. Uh, all the vendors will answer questions. If there's a particular snake you're really wanting to get, you can get on Google and Google a care sheet to see what it's going to take to take care of that animal. Now, if somebody, you know, because a lot of times... That we were talking about the commitment and you know dogs and cats live it out but if you know these live 20 30 years if somebody needs to get rid of it you don't just let it out right you don't let it out there are uh, adoption organizations in san antonio uh, our organization uh, takes in animals we adopt them in and we find homes for them mm -hmm. a lot of times i take in especially ball pythons i find teachers that want them Oh. Uh, we have a ball python at home. It wasn't eating. I've got it eating. It's getting ready to go to a teacher. Okay. And they set them up in their classrooms. Okay. And real quick before we go, we've got about 15 seconds. Just tell us what kind of snake this is. This is, is a rosy boa, which is a boa constrictor native to the United States. They're found in Southern California, southwestern Arizona. This is about as big as they get. Okay. okay. So they are one of two boas native to the United States. Well, right. if you're interested mm -hmm. in finding a snake under your tree, <laughs> <laughs> by choice, <laughs> the Reptile Expo is happening this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Lions Club up there in McQueenie. It's right next to Seguin, and children are allowed with an adult for more information. There is a, an admission fee, by the way. For more information, go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.